Uh, Ashley Weens has been my coach for the last two and a half years. So I competed with her in my corner back in 2019. And then after we stepped off stage in Vancouver, we got the judges feedback. We took what we knew I needed to work on. And every single day from that day out, we've been diligent in following a plan. I've been checking in weekly with her. Um, and we haven't missed a beat. Every single day has been planned to try to bring my best physique possible this year to the stage. Coming off of the stage in 2019, I knew I really needed to put on some size and build. So even with COVID last year, I was already planning to take the year off to put on some size and to work on the areas that I needed to improve. So I think big significance of this prep would be that I've just, the last two years has been focused every single day on uh, getting ready for the stage for North Americans. And I haven't left a stone unturned. I've been working with Sid Gillen on my posing. Ashley's been in my corner um, as my coach, doing my nutrition, making sure that everything that I do day in, day out is leading up to this. And then I've been working with Mike Van Wick as well, just on training and making sure that my body's moving in a way to help me build the muscle and uh, give me that X-frame on stage that I need come, uh, come September 3rd. Mm -hmm. I think it's mental for me. I think that extra rep, that extra maybe when I do cardio, I don't count the first 30 seconds on the machine because I think the machine is just getting started for me to start my cardio. So if I have 30 minutes of cardio, it's always 30 minutes, 30 seconds because that first 30 seconds in my head doesn't count because the machine wasn't ready for me yet. And the same thing goes with, with reps and uh, with sets. If I can get one more rep in there, all of those reps week after week, day after day, add up. And if that helps me grow just the smallest little bit of tissue, it counts as a success in my books. Prep, so the one thing that I always do after any show is I get the judges feedback right away. Um, I look at my physique, I look at the lineup that I was in, um, and understanding what the criteria is for figure and comparing my physique to the best people in the world to understand where I need to improve. Um, and then the day after the show, I always sit down with my coach. Sometimes it's that night, sometimes it's the day after and we talk about what I want to do next, where I want to improve, and we go right into a reverse diet and start working on the areas that I need to improve. So that's going to be the exact same plan coming out of this show is just getting ready for whatever's next and understanding that it takes time and I'm going to just continuously build on being the best me that I can be. Being part of HD has been honestly everything this prep. Not only just from the atmosphere of the team, the people that I get to surround myself with HD muscle and the support of everyone, but the supplements have made a difference hands down. Um, things that a lot of people would pull out in those last few weeks of prep, because of the quality of the supplements, I've kept them in almost this entire prep using I want to say almost every single supplement that we have in our lineup right now. So pre and intra, sometimes having up to 75 grams of carbs just from Carb HD, and all the way until just two days ago when I lowered my carbs to start uh, dialing in a little bit. I'm still using our protein powder every single day. It's easy digestible for me. It helps me keep my waist tight and it helps me. I like to have that not full feeling before I train, so I do a scoop of Pro HD with cream of rice pre-workout. And then I use our whole health line um, diligently every morning, every night, just to make sure that I stay healthy. And because at the end of the day, I can push my body as hard as I want, but if inside isn't healthy, my body's not gonna respond that the way that I want it to. And supplements from HD Muscle have hands down helped me bring my best physique yet to stage. Wow. Uh, yeah, I would give uh, a few points of advice. I would say the first thing is, is 
do it because you love it. If you're doing it for Instagram or for someone else, you're never really gonna be able to pour your heart and soul into it the way that you need to, to be able to bring your best to stage. Um, the second point would be is surround yourself with the best of the best, people that are gonna uplift you, people that are gonna keep you motivated, people that have the same positive mindset as you because you're only as strong as the circle that you surround yourself with. Um, get a knowledgeable coach, ask questions. Um, and then the other thing I would say, if it's your first show, you're never lean enough. So push yourself harder. You may be the leanest you've ever been, but usually if it's your first competition, you're not gonna be lean enough for stage. So you need to train with intensity. You need to do your cardio with intensity. You need to tackle every single meal as though it has a meaning and a purpose, timing them, making sure that it's to the gram, everything's on point because all of those little things add up for the time that you step on stage. Hope you guys like this back workout. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out all of our other great content on the HD Muscle YouTube video. Catch you later.